Greetings, and thank you for returning to The Wealthy Coin, where you can get all of your cryptocurrency fixations, the ripple effect wishing you all a fantastic day. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. The month of February is nearly over with the end of Q1 on the horizon Sunday, February 25th. Everyone this year is just getting started. With all the hype surrounding Bitcoin, we're going to have a very bullish year and even a bullish start to 2025. But wait, there's more. March is just around the corner and before you know it, summer will be here. The markets will pick up speed and before you know it, it will be Q3. I've been around for two bull runs and every time one is about to happen, the years fly by. In this video, we need to talk about an XRP ETP that just went live, which is huge. We're also going to talk about Ethereum spot ETF coming to the US because it's going to happen soon. And later on, there will be a slew of other bull runs in the crypto markets. Ethereum and DTCC to get to the bottom of things, hold off on asking about XRP connected traditional payments until you see the panel I'm about to reveal the members of. As previously mentioned, Ripple is fully supportive of any new collaboration and deal that has recently emerged. So without further ado, let's dive into this Bitcoin. It is presently trading at 1.3% or $51,772. Ethereum is currently trading at $3.59.99, a 3.17% increase, while USDTT and USDC are both pegged to the dollar while XRP is trading at a mean, skinny 54 cents. The overall market cap of cryptocurrencies has returned to over 2 trillion, an increase of 0.6% in the last day. I told you not to worry, and I still expect the monthly close to be above $2 trillion and Bitcoin to be above $48.5 in the next two or three days. Then we'll find out what the market has in store for us. Looking good, Ethereum. In this cycle, Ethereum is expected to reach 7 to 10,000. Many people are thinking about this, and here's my take. If Ethereum does reach 7 to 10,000, you're looking at a threefold increase. I don't think it's worth it to put money into Ethereum at the moment because we're in a bull cycle and there will be plenty of other cryptocurrencies that will do a 3x in the blink of an eye. If XRP follows Ethereum's lead and gets to $9,000, I might consider it. XRP just needs to get to a dollar fifty, give or take dollar seventy-five. That's still under its all-time high. So for me, the smart move is to get put my money into a crypto that's going to give me a bigger return. At this point, XRP is definitely going to outperform Ethereum. There's even some chatter out there that XRP is going to outperform Bitcoin. That's the way I'm looking at the markets. Obviously, you could do what you want, not financial advice. Look at the markets for yourself. If you think Ethereum is safer, or if you believe that Ethereum is going to give you your biggest bang for your buck then maybe that's where you want to allocate into, but I'm not just not doing, that's not the way I'm operating this bull cycle in this bull cycle, I will. Be pulling profits, now we get, this is kind of fun, I can't believe he's taking a fresh look at this alligator as he approaches the Florida golf course, is he serious? That is the norm in this part of Florida. What are you going to do when the gator comes after you? There's a large gator in Florida. I can't even begin to fathom what would happen if that golf cart were to topple over. Democrats for you black swan business magnates the Bitcoin rainbow chart. He declares zooming out. We are still in the cheap territory of many digital assets and cryptocurrencies. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Some people are predicting that we will hit the red area of the rainbow, which could put Bitcoin anywhere from 189,000 to 256,000. I'm more on the orange side, 110 to 143. I'm looking at 100 to 150. We could go higher than that. Obviously, we don't know where a parabolic explosion will come from. We don't know if any more Bitcoin ETFs will be open. We don't know how much institutional demand will enter the markets. But we can get a pretty good idea. You'll see what I mean in a minute. When the SEC could approve the Ethereum spot ETF in May of this year. Technically, according to the attorney, it's about two months I'm very bullish on XRP and think that it will soon have an exchange traded fund ETF that will attract institutional investors. I also think that Ethereum will have an ETF. Brad Gollinghouse recently said, I think it was on Bloomberg, that we might even see crypto basket ETFs. Robert Grant, VP of Global Policy at Ripple, was on a panel discussion alongside Stephen Prosper, Executive Director of Innovation Strategy in Digital Assets from the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, DTCC, highlighting the importance of making crypto accessible to the average investor. People are already familiar with exchange-traded funds ETFs, which make advertising and selling crypto a breeze. It's Mr. Ripples, who you may have heard of, over on the left side of the screen. 
So why is it so intriguing that Grant is standing next to the DTCC spokesman? Well, consider this just a year ago, the same DTCCC was sitting before the U.S. Senate's Financial Innovation Caucus discussing digital assets and their potential use in tokenized securities. This year, the DTCC is planning to move to a T1 using stable coins. It's fascinating that people in Smoke released this through Ripple. It links traditional payment systems like SWIFT to the banking industry rather than replacing them. The depletion of supply due to increased demand will drive up prices, as will the destruction and increased usage of XRP per transaction. Money Talks Environmental Science Eco 101 is something that everyone talks about, and who knows, maybe some of us will even enroll in Eco 201 or 202. Those college IDs slip my mind. The process, it's interesting to see how ECS Fin integrates with Ripple. Who is ECS Fin? Well, they work with various banks, capital markets, and corporations. They defragment and optimize your transaction processes and applications. One interesting thing is that they have a payment hub trade settlement. Now, this is significant because EastFastFin mentioned their enterprise payment hub data, and guess who is a gateway on this blockchain called Ripples? Now, if the XRP ledger is being used, there's no ifs or buts about it. XRP gets burned every time a transaction. So what happens during each transaction? XRP gets burned. I know it's small, but these little things will add up and affect the supply of XRP. This is a major partnership between ECS Fin and XRP. Keep an eye on it. Here's an example. A father sells his $800,000 home and invests the money in XRP. The story of his father's brave decision to sell his $800,000 home and invest $200,000 in Ethereum and $7,000 in Bitcoin has been told by a Bitcoin trader. The father has been an experienced investor for over 50 years. Three grand, imagine the seven to 10 grand he made off of this. If he had a theory worth $200,000, it would be even more. This guy is about to make a lot of money and now he's looking into XRP and we've seen a lot of people come out of the woodworks and they're saying that now is the time to get an XRP. XRP is going to be the next shining star in his bull marker. Remember, XRP is always last I've been in here since 2017 and for some crazy reason for some strange reason xrp always seems to move last i don't understand why i don't get it but i'm not going to complain about it because you know what it could not move at all but we have always seen xrp move since i've been in the space over seven years now as the cycle is coming to end end and money rotates out of everything else and it comes into xrp last let me get this prominent european digital asset manager Villar has finally introduced an xrp exchange traded prod i'm going to take a wild guess and say that with scc behind us XRP will hit new heights, maybe even an all-time high, because institutional investors will finally be able to put their money into the market. The U.S. market is already crystal clear, so what else can we expect in the near future? You want to give me a tenfold return on my investment in XRP that I've been hoarding since 2017 without selling a single coin? I'm going to say thank you, and I'll wash your hands of the situation. The market is about to heat up, so stay tuned, and I'll be back. XRP is breaking its all-time high right now at 50 cents. If we reach a certain level, we could see a 10-fold, 15-fold, or even a 20-fold return on our investment. Treat each other with kindness and politeness. The ripple effect winkle has been removed. 